All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Samco Workshop. This is Jason Samco. Today we're going to be talking about the 2024 Ranger uh, that is coming out here. We're going to go through a bunch of this stuff, and uh, but we're going to talk about uh, you know where where it's missing a package at a, tr a real missing package. It's kind of upsetting, and uh, some of that kind of stuff here for you, and show you some of these. We got a few built, and uh, some examples, and uh, some like I said, there's some things that uh, Ford definitely is is missing a boat on and missing a lot of customers for. So we take a look at here let's just first talk about what this thing is here we got the new ranger um you know they got some video after stuff the here many going. years that um, i've spent in the forest we'll let it play for a minute sorry i'm skipping some just stuff. right just straight up stupid. what do we got here, here I'd, we go. yeah we're gonna we're gonna cut something something i'd swing preparation that's the true mark of a master but here, what unites you know, the kayaker, shows you some examples the surfer, of this thing. the climber, truck. the adventurer, ready for anything, always thinking ahead, sharpened by experience, equipped with the right mindset, and the right set of tools. But here we go. So, you know, here it is right here. There's a sport model. That's the XLT Sport package, which is nice. Um, FX4, you know, we got some stuff they're looking at here. There's a few points that they're talking about. There's that Raptor, which, again, forget it. If it's anything like any of their other Raptors, uh, when they put out, it'll be it'll be two years before you'll ever even see one on a road, let alone at a dealer. Um, they, Ford sucks at getting those things out. Look at how they were with the Bronco. It was an absolute nightmare and a joke. Um and uh, um, you got your XLT right here, but you can see um, some of them. Um, this is interesting. A truck was born to be taken off road. Ranger sits on updated chassis with outboard mount rear shocks, which is awesome. We'll talk about that. Um, that promote comfort and control off road and up rev up to available 2.7 EcoBoost V6. Okay, available on XLT and Lariat. It is not available on XLT and Lariat on the build sheets yet. Okay, you cannot have it. So we don't know what the extra price cost of that will be. I'm guessing it's probably going to be somewhere in the, the $2,500 range minimum to go to that engine. I'm assuming that's my guess. Uh, we will find out, but it is not even an option right now on their build prices, which we will go through and show you here in a minute. But let's finish this stuff out here. Um, beacon is trace, um, fully, you know, it, well, even again, like that, they talk about how, um, you know, outboard mounted rear shocks. That is a great thing. Toyota has been doing that forever. It's the way it should be. Jeep's been doing it forever. It's the way it should be. Um, you know, on the Wranglers and the Gladiators and stuff like that too. It's how it should automatically be. Um, the Colorado ZR2 did that this year for the first time, just like Ranger did and now has those outboard mounted like they should be. Um, so it's about time to get on board with it. You you know, a little late to the party, but at least they're here. So that's a good thing. Um, and uh, a beacon is faithfully box steel frame makes up the backbone of the Ranger. So does every other truck out there now. Toyota learned her lesson with the C channel rear end, and they changed it to fully boxed for now, too. Uh, so that's pretty much the same. Experienced increased increased track width and wheelbase um, along again with the outboard mounted shocks. Um, so that's great. And I do like the fact that Ford and Chevy actually increased the uh, A arm or the control arm length to give more articulation and more actual suspension flex in their wide body set. Toyota did not. Toyota just added more offset to the wheels, so they did their wide body is just wheel offset. There's no gain to the Toyota Tacoma, but Ford and Chevy did this right. What else do they got on here? Uh, are we not allowed to go that way? We got to go this way. What's this one? Uh, a force of power, again, at 2.7 EcoBoost. It's going to generate a targeted, targeted, you know, it's supposed to, 315 horse and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Um, so it's uh, still not quite the same as uh, uh, the Colorado is, but not too bad. You can't really complain about that. And the only way the uh, Toyota will get anywhere near that is with the, uh, the hybrid option in it, if you want a hybrid. That's neither here nor there. But for this one, you're getting a 10-speed trance. And like I said, that uh, you get a 10-speed trance even with the 2.3 that's stock. 
But this 2.7 they keep talking about, they say uh, currently anticipated available in winter of 2023-2024. We don't know what that price will be. It is saying available on XLT and Lariat models eventually. So we will have to see. But right now, we're going to figure this out without that. Just know that it's going to be a couple grand more to add that, I'll bet. Um, trailer package. Yep, it's got a nice trailer package, but you got to buy it. Does not come standard under any circumstances. We got to add it. Um, a standard on a Raptor, but available on XLT and Lariat. We'll cover that. Um, but such a good looking truck. This thing's a beautiful truck. There's no doubt about it. Um, they did it well. It's such an improvement over the 2023, in my opinion, as far as aesthetics and looks go. Um, straight up love the way this thing is. Uh, brake trailer, brake controller, again, available on XLT and Lariat. You have to step up to get that. Um, what's this one here? Over here, where they given? Uh, pro trailer backup assist. Again, learn to drive with a trailer. I can't, I can't help you any other way than that, but learn to drive with a trailer. Uh, when my daughter turned 16 years old, I hooked up my boat and my cargo trailer because the cargo trailer is shorter and it's a lot harder. But I took her to the, uh, put both of them on there and I took her to a Walmart parking lot and I made her back up for about two hours each time. And now my daughter, who is now uh, 21 years old, can she drove a U-Haul trailer all the way down here behind her car and was able to back it into a tight apartment complex and right up to the door. Learn to back up a trailer. I'm sorry. This 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 is pointless in every kind of level learn to drive with a trailer if you're going to pull a trailer um technology with purpose day or night rain or shine uh, loaded with these features those lights are pretty sweet i'm not going to lie these little zone lighting things that they got around here those are really kind of cool um but optional um you know that kind of thing so the cameras are neat too for your 360 cameras blah 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 tricked out bed it's no tricked out bed it's the same as every other bed on the market it's got a little bit of power to it uh 400 watts or whatever and uh some tie downs and uh you know it's got a uh um damp and tailgate well it's the same as every other truck out there so there's nothing there to write home about um uh, LED bed lighting so is every other company out there um integrated box step I love this thing this is very very cool Okay, and I like where they put it, and I like how it's out of the way, and I like they, they nailed this thing. Okay, very well done there for sure. Um, uh, effortless tech, okay, whatever. It's got a screen just like everything else does, all trucks today. Uh, so it goes that way. Think 4A, okay, maybe that's cool. Um, wireless charging, all of them do. Okay, that's cool too. Um, power sliding rear window, great. That's, again, okay. Um, Ford update software, they all do that now um, as well too. Now, here's the kicker though. Okay, you get some of this stuff here, like available and or standard on XLT and Lariat, okay, and Raptor. You get this charging, wireless charging, but yet I cannot get push button start on an XLT. I have to go to a Lariat for it, okay? One of our complaints we're going to have, interesting, but uh, they give you this wireless charging, woohoo, but I can't use, I still got to use a key in an XLT. So um, here's a couple photos. We're going to just show a little bit of this, and then we're going to get into that missing trim level. Um, okay, so we got the FX4. I love that. I, it's what I would buy. FX4 because FX4 package comes with two things automatically. Three. It comes with a skid plate underneath. It comes with the uh, locking rear differential. And it comes with the terrain management system. Okay, including Ford Trail Control. Um, okay, so that's that FX4 package is a lifeline that I personally would never not have. If it doesn't have the FX4 package, I am not interested in it. I want those features in there automatically guaranteed for me uh, for what I need it to do. Um, digital instrumentation cluster, great. That's all fine and dandy. Where's my push button start? But apparently not in an XLT. Um, you know, connect with, I, I, I don't care about the Wi-Fi. I got my own on my phone. Um, box step is nice, but, um, again, where's my push button start? Um, hard driving, easy on the eyes. Great. It's got a nice screen, but apparently, you know, but, you know, I got enough stuff here, put a push button start in there somewhere. But point being, um, sport appearance package is nice too. Now this is also part of the FX4. So when you get the FX4, you get that. Okay. Um, Great painted stand, it's stand. It's automatic now. The sport package, which used to be an extra updated package previously, is now standard on the XLT and the Lariat. Fantastic. Why doesn't the sport package have uh, uh, push button start? But um, LED lights, okay, that's great. Um, standard on the Lariat and on the Ranger. You do not get LEDs on the XLT. Yeah, go. You know, again, go thinking. Um, you get trail control as part of the. Um, uh, FX4 package, so that's a beautiful thing. So that kind of covers that. So like I said, they got a lot of neat stuff on here that we're seeing. Um, you can scroll around this thing. 
It's a good looking truck, no doubt about it. You can pick your colors that you want, uh, you know, that kind of thing and go through it. They got a lot of stuff on this build, you know, where you can really work around it. Um, so, so beautiful setup. So let's now go over. We have a couple of these built out. First of all, I thought, okay, well, since I don't get, um, we know that I don't get the remote or the, uh, push button start on the XLT. I thought, well, maybe we can get it on an XL. What do we get in the XL? So I went ahead and built an XL. Here we go. I picked any random color. doesn't matter. Um, actually that one's a little more. Let's get out of that. Cause that's a $500 option for red. Really? $500 option for red. So let's go silver. We just cut that down. See 2.3 eco boost. There it is. That's our option. We went four wheel drive. Nice here. We can add a electronic rear locker. That's very nice, but we do not get the terrain management modes. We do not get the skid plates. Um, we do not get some of that stuff with, uh, you know, versus, you know, they're not giving us, they give us an S STX appearance package included. Um, and, uh, but we do not get the option of a FX4 package, but we do, we can add for $400 the electronic rear locker. That's a beautiful thing. That makes this one pretty reasonable for me. Um, pretty interesting because at least I have the locker. I lose the terrain management modes, but at least I get the rear locker, which will save you in 99% of the situations. And it's electronic. It is not like a G80 from uh, Chevy where it's got to spin 100 RPMs before it engages and it hits hard and it kicks you around and it's going to just dig deeper. A real true electronic rear locker available, 420 bucks. I don't care what model range you get. I would make sure you have that clicked or click on the FX4 package. Um, we would have to add a trailer package because we don't have one okay it's included for the sdx package but we'd have to do that we look at this truck again just for looks there it is um so it's a nice setup uh wheels fine whatever silver wheels i don't care uh the only things i want to add is i want a spray and bed liner from the factory they're just done well 500 bucks uh i added the uh what did I else did i add um, I added a little security thing on the side uh, in the, you know, the push button because of the fact that it doesn't come with, it's got a key in it. So it just pisses me off. So I would like, I'm putting that on there for 95 bucks. Um, so when we price this thing out as an XL, okay. And now let's look at the interior of this thing here real quick too. Let's just scan this thing and take a look at it real fast when we compare it. But I mean, notice this looks 100% identical for the most part to an XLT. Okay, there's our key has to go in that stupid hole, um, but there's really not much difference between this and an XLT. Okay, this rendering is horrible, um, but uh, but this is very very similar for the most part as far as I'm concerned. Um, you get you getting a lot of bang for your buck here, especially with the rear locker in this XL model. You're getting quite a bit for your money. I, I like I said, I cannot complain about that. Um, you know, there's a lot to it. Oh, you're still keeping me inside. You're not going to let me look at the outside of it. Exterior here and see if that one does it. No. Okay. Well, whatever. But what do we end up with price-wise after all said and done on that? We come in at 39310 that is a beautiful thing. 39310 and it is a good looking truck as you see right there. That is just that it's a cannot complain about that. That is a beautiful looking truck um for $39,000 and it has a rear locker. Win-win. So that's a good one. But I want the FX4 and I want the terrain management cuz I want the uh, skid plate and stuff. What does that cost us to do? What does that take us to? Well, if we go here and we go to an FX4 XLT, okay? So we're here, we are at an XLT Super Crew we pick standard whatever color here. There it is. You can see we got that XLT or FX4 skid plate. We have the uh, FX4 moniker right here. And uh, we got the rear locker and we get the terrain management modes. That's what we're getting with the FX4. So even if we match the same color just for looks purposes so you can see the difference here. Um, like I said, beautiful truck. A uh, lot going for it. Again, notice here they said XLT and Larry will offer an option for a 2.7. It is not even here. Okay, it's not even an option on the build sheet yet. So keep that in mind. We got to take that into consideration. I bet it's a couple grand more. So we're pricing it comparatively with the 2.3. Um, and they may back out and they may just say the the uh, 2.7 is not available till 2025. We don't know what they're going to do, uh, especially with the strike coming and all that kind of thing. So we will have to see. But as of right now, we can't add it. Um, we want four-wheel drive, obviously. Um, I did not click the locker. It is included here already because we did click the um, 
Click the on the uh, FX4 package for $1,300. Skid plates, rear locker, terrain management mode, sports package is already included. Now, we went with the standard equipment group on the XLT. Now, this kind of sucks when you think about it, okay? Um, standard equipment group, when we click on that, Okay, we get co-pilot assist. I don't care. Um, I don't. I don't care. I, I, of course, we want lane keeping and driver's alert and all that. And it should be standard on every vehicle. Sport appearance package, obviously, because it's an XLT. Manual rear sliding window. Yeehaw. 400 watts. Cab power. Okay. He, wireless charging pad. I. I just don't care. I would have much rather have seen. Um, push button start. But we got power folding side view mirrors. That's probably great for people. And we got LED uh, tail lights. Look at LED tail lights fog lights, and bed lighting, but not LED headlights, okay? Look at we get LED taillights, fog lights, and bed lights, but we do not get LED headlights. It's like, what are they thinking? Okay, that's the standard one. Now, we think we could go to the XLT high equipment group and gain something for 945. We cannot, all right? Two reasons. One, when we click on this, it gives us a 10-way power included driver's seat and an eight-way power passenger seat, okay? why? why do, I still don't get... I still don't get a push button start. I get heated front seats, power sliding rear window, 12 inch display center stack, dual zone electronic climate control. Okay, they're literally sit, you're th sitting two feet or a foot and a half apart. You're, you're like eight inches between your shoulders and you need dual zone climate. I don't get it, but point being, I still don't have my push button start. Okay, <clears throat> let that sink in. No push button start here. But now, what, what if we go to add this? 945. Let's hit add. See what happens here. Oh, they are removing, okay. Add XLT also requires the following changes. Manual sliding rear window with privacy glass and defrost. And then you remove the XLT standard discount. Removing that discount takes us from 945 to 1445. So it's a $1,500 increase to get the 12 inch center display and the, uh, the power seats. The power seats and a heated front seat. Okay, that's and so no, I'm not going to add that. You, you, no, not for that. I'm not paying that kind of money for it. So I said, forget it. We continue down. Okay, so we there's that discount that we would have lost right there. That's a beautiful thing, but the truck still looks good. It's FX4. I'm happy with that. It's got all the stuff I want. We have to add in the trailering package because it does not have it. So we don't have to add the it. Uh, we, I don't care about the advanced one because I don't need it to tell me or show me a camera uh, where I'm going or how to do it. I can back a trailer up. Okay, so there it is. We don't care about that, but we need a trailer hitch on it. So we're going with the standard trailer tow package. We're happy. Four pin, class four hitch. Here it is right there. Um, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're all good. Um, and uh, so we're set. So that's in there. So we got that in there. It was 500 bucks. Yeehaw. Happy to do it, I guess. Um so we go down here. The only thing on here, we want a bed liner again because I want the spray in bed liner. And I got that, uh, that's included. I got that little security code thing on the side again because they don't give me zone uh, uh, or keyless entry and they don't give me push button start. Again, something that almost every vehicle out there has now. But apparently on this, I still have to, on a on a 45 or whatever thousand dollar Ranger this comes out to be, I still can't have those and I got to still use a key and I don't get uh, wireless entry or keyless entry, but there it is. So we got that in there. The rest is already part of the package. Um, we're going standard cloth seats. Here's what the interior looks like in it. Again, it's very similar to that XL one. You can notice this? I mean, it is almost identical to the XL. Now we get a little bigger in here, maybe by a smidge. I don't know. It looks the same to me, but it looks identical to the XL that we just looked at. I don't, I'm not seeing any, any real difference in here. So, but apparently that's that one. So let that be something to sink in, whether it's worth it when we get to the price here for you. Okay. So we figure that out. Nothing else we need in here. Option wise, we move right on through. What does this put us at? We are at 42,965. Okay. 42,965. And this one here, we were at 39,310. Uh, and uh, so if we do the math, and let's bring this over here and go 42,965 minus uh, 39,310. The difference is $3,700. So I'm paying $3,700, and the only thing I'm really gaining on here is skid plate for the FX4 package and a terrain mode 
or here, I should say. The only thing I'm really gaining is a, uh, go back to here for exterior package, packages. Uh, what I'm gaining is I'm gaining a skid plate and a terrain mode option. So that makes this one kind of hard to choose. No offense to it, I'm sorry, but it makes this XLT really hard for me to choose because I don't have push button start. I don't gain any of that uh, remote access with that kind of stuff. I'm not gaining a whole lot of any of it in the packages. It's got the same exact motor in it, and uh, I'm paying $3,700 more for only the terrain management system and a skid plate that I can buy separately for $200. Um, now, the terrain management modes would be nice, but are they $3,700 more versus that for this one? Now, here you get these wheels versus these wheels, but honestly, um, I really like these wheels, and I like the dolled out uh, fender flares on the XL better than I do the shiny ones on the XLT. So, realistically, for me personally, that's a wash. You'll have to make your own decisions on it. Uh, but that's something to think about. But you are a $3,700 difference between the XLT Ranger with a rear locker and the FX4 Ranger XLT. The X, I'm sorry, the XL with a rear locker and the XLT with an FX4 package, you are $3,700 difference. So keep that with a grain of salt. We built them both identically. Now, here's the kicker part, okay? So when we go back down, we know that we're at $43,000 for the XLT. If we go to the Lariat, okay? So here's a Lariat, okay? So let's do this Lariat. Here's the same thing, FX4, Lariat. Okay, again, we'll, we'll even pick the same color. So there it is with the same color with those wheels, which I actually much prefer the uh, the XLT wheels much better personally. That is my opinion, but I like these wheels a lot better. I even like these wheels a lot better than I do these wheels that are on. Oh, hang on. The, that are on that personally. My, my opinion. I don't care for that look. But here it is a Lariat XLT. Again, we do not have the option for that engine that they keep talking about. We are still stuck at a 2.3, and it, when it comes to a 2.7, figure a couple grand more on top of these prices. Four-wheel drive, that's included. The, act, the rear locker is included because we are going to the FX4 package for $12.95. Uh, sport appearance package included. We still have to add the trailer tow package. Not included automatically. We have to add it. Um, we got our wheels in there. So we come down here, the only other things that we kicked in were, uh, again, I had to put that stupid pad on there because I, now this one I do get push, push button start, um, but I'm putting a pad on there anyway uh, because I don't think we get zone uh, access. I, I couldn't find that anywhere that tells me that I get wireless or uh, keyless entry. I'm sure I do on a Lariat. I'm assuming we do, but I know we get push button start on this one. Um and, uh, okay, dual zones included, yeehaw, whip to do. Uh, the radio, okay, so otherwise it's built the same way as the XLT FX4, but what do we, now let's look at that interior. Now here you're getting leather, okay, there's no doubt you're getting a nicer interior with the leather. I, I hate leather. I, I don't like leather, again, I'm, I'm in the woods all the time. Mud is really hard and corrosive and scratches leather, leather like crazy. Um, it's too hard to get the stains out. My gear cracks that stuff, my... Um, my DEET and my bug sprays and my chemicals discolor leather. Leather does not work for me. Made for many people, and they might like leather. For me, it's not a good thing. But here it is. Now, here you're also getting the electronic shifter. First in the XLT, when we look at that interior, you're getting the high... Um, you're getting the manual shifter, okay? See, I look at how high this is here, and it's a regular uh, or mechanical shifter for shifting your uh, gears, where this one is one of those little E shifters where you push a button on the front and just, you know, it's all electronic. So you're getting that in a Lariat. You're getting push button start right here that is tucked in there in the same place that the key would go. Um, and then you're getting leather seats. Otherwise, it looks basically identical to me, but leather seats, yeehaw, um, Okay, I'm not seeing anything else that's all that fancy in here that really writes home to me, but uh, you'll have to be the deciding factor. But I do get push button start, which we see right there, like that. This I could care, take it or leave it, don't care either way. Um, and I do not want the leather anyway, so this is not my trim. But what does it do for us? 
Well, we put it all together and it comes in at $51,000 built the same way as we did the XLT. We did no extras on this. Same exact thing we did as the XLT. No extra packages. Base model um, Lariat, which has more obviously, but base model Lariat. So we are at uh, 50,900, 51,000, basically 51,000. And here on this one, we were at 43,000, okay? So again, doing it in simple terms, we do the math on there, 51,000 minus 43,000, look at the number, $8,000 difference for leather seats. Oh, here it is right here, keyless entry, no, it's a keyless entry pad. I don't know if it has keyless walk up and touch a handle on it, but, um, but we're paying $8,000 for leather seats, you're going to get an LED headlight in here too, automatically with the Lariat, but you're getting LED headlight, leather seats, and you're getting um, a push button start, $8,000, okay? When you look at it, sorry, I'm at this one. Here, you're getting the LED headlights, um, but you're at $8,000 difference between the Lariat and there. See what I mean? This is where Ford needs an in-between package. This XL is a fantastic package for a fantastic price and an incredible truck. They did this one very well. And with a rear locker, an electronic rear locker at that price point, and then especially when the rebates come out on these things or you start negotiating on them and you start talking about a $35,000 truck, gold. This is gold. Okay, this is amazing. This XLT... You're at $43,000 for the FX4 one. It's not a bad thing, but you're at $43,000 and you still don't get um, push button start and a few other things and you're at 43,000, but it's, it's manageable, almost swallowable, very comparable to like a Colorado, uh, trail boss. Um, I like the locker and the terrain management in this better than what we get in a trail boss. Um, but realistically, you're really not too far away from what I could get a ZR2 for. Um, so there's, there's pros and cons everywhere, but this, I do not think is a horrible deal. The XL being by far the best deal. This is a smoking deal on an amazing truck. The XLT, it's a good deal on a on an amazing truck. The Lariat, the Lariat's kind of a joke of everything. No offense, and I know a lot of people will buy them, but I would never buy this. Why can't we have an XLT Plus? Okay, something that fits between this one and this one that gives us push button start and the LED headlights and nothing else. Take this one, this Ranger here, the XLT FX4, give it XLT head or uh, LED headlights, give it push button start and jump it up two thousand dollars. Okay, versus the Lariat and let us have that. But we go from here, we go eight thousand dollar difference minimum from this to this. Ford needs a package in between these because this is just too big of a jump. It's a joke. And even if you look at this, you're at $51,000 for an FX4 Lariat where literally I can go right here and I can go to a Raptor Ranger Okay, a Raptor Ranger with a 3 liter, not even a 2.7, but the included 3 liter. Um, I can have it with uh, electronic front locking, rear uh, front locking axles, electronic uh, uh, rear lockers. So I got front and rear lockers. I got full decked out everything. Um, this thing is loaded to the gills with almost every feature you can imagine. I throw in a bed liner on it too because it needs it. And just to match the other ones, I throw in a little security thing that we have right here on the doorknobs. Uh, but we put everything else together. This thing, look at this. Look at this. Okay. Look at this interior here. Look at this decked out. I love the steering wheel locator. I love that that they do that. That's just really cool. Um, but you got everything you're getting in a Lariat times five. I mean, this thing is decked out. Front rear lockers, bigger stance, most amazing motor you could ever dream of in a in a Ranger ever in history. This thing is just incredible. And when you put it all together, it's literally like you know, it's like $6,000 more. It's actually less to go, it's less money to go from, come on, do what I tell you. Just click over on the exterior picture. What do you, but it's cheaper to go, or I mean cost more, or yeah, it is cheaper to go from this Lariat right here to that Raptor than it is to go from an, uh, to go from the FX4 or the XLT FX4 to a Lariat. 
XL or Lariat FX4. Let that sink in. So in my opinion, Ford needs a middle group. She, she needs to put something between the XLT and a Lariat because it's just a joke on every level. They, that, they're really missing the boat here because the XLT should, the XLT is basically a, a minor upgrade on the XL and it shows that, but it's $3,000 range. But when you go from the XLT to the Lariat, it costs $8,000 more to get leather seats, push button start, and an LED headlight. Come on. I mean, it's just that they're missing a boat here. They need another trim level in there. So call Ford up, tell them, say we need an XLT Plus or something there in the middle that's going to give you those things that you're looking for uh, so that you can get that bonus in there. So uh, just a little tip for you and some things to think about if you're planning on buying a new 2024 Ranger. Sure is a beautiful truck. It sure has a ton of possibilities, and it's got so much class and style to it. Um, I straight up think it's a beautiful thing and a great improvement over what it was. I'm, I'm excited for it. But it definitely failed miserably in its trim levels with uh, the one missing between the XLT and the Lariat. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.